السلام عليكم ورحمة الله معاكم هاني من جيم ايجيبت آه النهاردة عاملين حلقة وتغطية خطيرة جدا من نوع خاص آه معنا دينيس جيمس النهاردة هيتكلم للعرب هيقول آه وجهة نظره هيتكلم عن الاشاعات اللي طلعت عليه آه هنسأله اسئلة آه خاصة وهنسأله اسئلة حادة وهنشوف ردوده ايه بس آه انا اسف انا هتكلم معاه بالانجليزي وبعد كده هترجم على الترجمة هتبقى تحت بالعربي فتعالوا نبدا لقائنا ونقول هلو دينيس هاو ار يو؟ ام فاين هاوز ايفري ثينج؟ ايفري ثينج از جود ايفري ثينج از جود اي كان كومبلاين نايس سو رايت ناو اولويز وين دينيس جيمس نيم جيت اب ذير از اولويز سم توكس بيبول ستارت تو توك سو وات دو يو ثينك اباوت ذات؟ از ات يو ار لايك ميكينج ترابلز اور ذا ترابلز فولوينج يو؟ اي دونت ايفن نو اي دونت اي دونت نو وات يو مين ترابل بيكوز I don't even know what pe- most of the people talk about, you know, I have no idea because I don't understand, I don't understand Arabic, so I don't understand what the real situation is. And I don't know why there's a problem because I don't have any problems, you know what I mean? So I don't see the problems. The problem, I'm going to show you our side. In the beginnings, uh, we see you taking Rami and you take him in very good direction and you are training him and everything was like nice and easy. and it was going to the right direction and everything was fine. Mm. So suddenly you split with him. We didn't know why, we didn't know what happened and the people start to talk. And we listen for the people that always come from Kuwait. That Dennis did that, Dennis do this, did it. Dennis, he's the bad guy, he's the evil one, he's, 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 he's. So we need to tr- know the truth right now. Are you the bad guy or the good guy? Ah, uh, <laughs> if I was an evil guy, then I think there would be other people somewhere around in the world that would have something evil to say about me. How come it's always only the people in Kuwait? And I'm, I'm not even want to talk about the people from Kuwait because the people in Kuwait are nice people. There's a certain group. Yeah. of people yeah. that only have something to say about me. So if I was an evil person, there must be, should, should be more. So all the problems that, not problems, because I don't consider it a problem. To me, it's not a problem when some people hate on my success. Because I don't hate on other people's success. When other people have success, I'm happy for them. And this is the way it should be. I should be happy if you have success. Yeah. I shouldn't hate on you if you have success, especially if you make the success by yourself. I didn't help you for your success, so why should I have a problem with you having success? So I don't have any problems with anybody. I have uh, very good relations with everybody I ever work with, and I still have a very good relation with Robbie. Me and Robbie, there's no, there's no individual problem. Me and him, we're perfectly fine. Friends. It's friends. Yeah. Always been that way. Yeah. Never changed. Yeah. You can see the reaction with me and Rami. When you, st- you personally, with your own eyes, saw yeah. me and Rami. Yeah. Did it look to you that, that we have a problem? No, no, no. It, it was fine. There's no problem. Yeah. This problem is created by certain individuals. So those people who are creating this drama, uh, what do you get from that? I don't know because I, well, I guess what he's going to get from that is that he wants to be somebody that he's not, you know, he wants to be a special person. He wants everybody, especially in Kuwait and maybe all over the Middle East to look at him like the Joe Vida uh-huh. that did, that does everything for the sport that made this sport possible. But did you think he helped the Middle East in that or not? Absolutely. I'm, yes, yeah. absolutely. He helps. wherever he can, but he forgets that everybody started somewhere. Yeah. And when sure. you start somewhere, you needed somebody else's help too. And you should never bite the hand that helped you. So you he know helped what I mean? you or you helped him? I helped him. Simple, as simple as that. I, he called me. Yeah, in the beginnings. At the very beginning to yeah. bring me to Kuwait. Yeah. You know what I mean? And to promote his gym. That's all he wanted. He wanted to promote his gym. At that time, in this it, case, you take it as a business in the beginnings. It was. It, I'm, I was a professional athlete. He yeah. called me, you know, and I had a bad experience. You know, I, I have very good experiences in the Middle East. I had one bad experience it was in Bahrain, in Bahrain yeah, yeah. years ago, where I was taken advantage of because I helped people. I wanted to help the people from Bahrain too. I guest post there once or twice. Yeah. And um, then they wanted me to train the national team. At that time, I was still living in Thailand. And uh, 
um, that certain individual, I don't want to name the names because I don't want to yeah, yeah, roll sure. up old yeah, things. We, we need to focus on that yeah. point. Right they now. just told me yeah, if they want to send a team, if I can get apartments, so I rented apartments for these people and then they never showed up. Oh, okay. So I told, I lost that money and then he told me, don't worry, my name is good as gold and we're going to pay that. We're going to come back again yeah. and then we make it made another time and then I pre prepaid oh. the apartments again. And again, they didn't show up. And then he said, don't worry, we're going to pay you for your, you will reimburse you for everything you paid and for the time you lost because I didn't do any appearances because I saved that time. Yeah. And it never happened. So I had a bad experience. So when he contacted me, I didn't know who he was. Yeah, okay. I didn't know anything about Oxen Gym because it was the first gym. Yeah. So I told him, I said, you want me to come over there? You have to pay me first. Yeah. Because I was, I was skeptical. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And he did. And, and I watched that interview when you were still friends with him. Yeah. And you we, were, we were good friends for 10 years. I really considered him a really, really good friend. Not just a friend, yeah. but a good friend. Somebody, I, you know, he called me, I called him. We had conversations yeah. that only friends have. So, and um, like I said, I, he brought me over there. I stayed there. And we made an agreement that, uh, you know, he signed me to a contract for two years and uh, be... Uh, he, wasn't, he wasn't a partner at all? Never, oh, okay. never. I had, no, I had no interest in the gym. Okay. I had no, there was no financial interest at all. He paid me for the time I was there. Yeah. But I couldn't stay the two years. I stayed a month and then it was, it's just a different world for me. So I, I have family, what, what, I have my what, daughter. What kind, what kind? push you away from Kuwait? Nothing pushed me away. It's just that I have a family in yeah. the States and I have a daughter. She was little. Yeah. It's hard for me to go to a different country with a different mentality, you know, be, be away. I mean, he was, he was good enough to give us an apartment where I could have brought my daughter and my wife, yeah. but it wasn't for them. She needed to go to school. So they never wanted to really come. They wanted to come visit, but that was basically it. So I couldn't do it. So, but the agreement was if I'm not there, he doesn't have to pay me. Yeah, okay. You know, it's not like we had a contract and I said, oh, I'm sick, I can't come. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. just a listen, I can't make it. I had other, you know, things that I have to do. So I was still... was clear from the beginning. From the beginning. Oh, there okay. was, we never had any issues. Oh, okay. So, so where does the drama come from? I have, listen, I still to this day don't know what changed in his head after 10 years to create this drama and start this drama. And, but I believe, and I mean, it, it all started when Rami stayed with me in America. Uh, this is what I was gonna say, that maybe because I see the comments and I see the, the stuff that it have been posted and every single thing it was like, you cheated him, you... I cheated who? Yeah, uh, Badran, you take... How I cheat him? How? Like, you, you already take Rami from him and run away with How him. I take Rami from him when he sent him to me? <laughs> well, well, it was that way when I, uh, I reading the comments and I reading the stuff that yeah, the all comments. the people the people saying that Dennis steal Rami and Rami go for Dennis because he's looking for a green card and this stuff. Who's looking for a green card? Uh, Rami. This is the people say. No, I know, I know, first of I know, hundred percent Rami. I know, yeah. I know the situation. I, I know everything. But yeah. you know, this is the rumors. And this is okay. This is to all the people that read the rumors and don't know the facts. There's no truth to these rumors. It's absolutely not true. Rami came to the U.S. not because of me. Yeah. He came to the U.S. because of his sponsor, Gat. Yeah. They signed him to a three-year contract. And if you have a contract with a company, they, have to, they pay you good money. They want to use you. Yeah. So they want to use you at expos. They want to use you as for guest appearances, yeah. for photo shoots. Yeah, yeah. And it, all this was not possible when he was in Kuwait because they wouldn't let him do what he had to do. Uh -huh. So the complaints came to me from Gat because I was the contact person for them, yeah. to Rami. So they contacted me, we need Rami for a photo shoot. We can't pay him all this money. And he never sends us pictures. He never sends us videos. So there was the Arnold Classic last year, not this year, last year, the Arnold Classic in Brazil. And they said, we need him at the booth. We need both of you at the booth. Yeah. And Jim Mannion, the, uh, the president of the IFB, he requested Rami to guest pose at his show where he has all the top eight guys every year yeah. at the Pittsburgh Pro. So this was one week after the Arnold. So I told, um, I told Rami, I said, Rami, you have to go. I mean, they pay for flights. It's not like he has to pay. Yeah. He just has to leave. So he came and he stayed with me while before, like a few days before we went to Brazil. So we stayed in Brazil for maybe almost a week. Uh -huh. 
-huh. And then we came back, and then another 10 days later or something like that was the, the guest appearance. So there's no need for him to fly back to Kuwait and come all the way back to America. So he stayed with me yeah. from there until the guest appearance.